这小蜜蜂张开嘴巴，哔哔哔哔哔，哔哔哔哔哔，哔哔哔哔哔，麻烦你快点接小蜜蜂的电话，哔哔哔哔哔。Hey guys, um, what do you know? I'm back. Woo. Um, I'm kind of sick, so ignore my voice, pretty please. Um, today I wanted to try something new to like revive my channel and stuff because you know that sh stuff has been dead. It's been rotting. But um, so today we're gonna be reacting to the Doctor Nowhere videos. I wanted to try something new, you know, be unique, whatever. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so the first video we got is whatever this one. Is. You can read the name right there. Whoa, I'm totally pointing at it right now. Anyways, here we go. The hell? Why is he banging on my glass like that, dude? Let me turn my volume up. What are these noises, bro? <laughs> I agree, my man. This is so real. This is me every day, bro. Um, yeah. Has this ever happened to you? All the lights. Whatever. Whatever. Let's watch. W reactions, I guess. What? What's ever happened to me? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, I don't do that. I love my power bill being high. Feel what? Hear what? There's probably Uncle Lester. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? Bro, <laughs> dude, what is that? <laughs> Anyways, back to the thing. There's nothing that follows me, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, it's the guy from earlier. What's he doing this time? I agree, my man. What do you want? What does he want? It's probably gonna tickle you in your sleep, bro. What the hell? Please go away. Please go away. Get away from me. What the flip sauce are you doing? Go. Go. I think he wants to get in, bro. Turn off the TV, unplug it, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> Stupid, what the hell? Okay, I gotta turn my volume down. Bro, what is, what is that, dude? Is he, like, stroking the wall? <laughs> so here's his shadow. Oh. Hi. What are you doing there, buddy? Hi there. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Take me out to dinner first. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> The body appeared untouched. I sure hope so. It can be kind of odd, you know. What the hell? Jesus. Anyways, let's see what the next one. Oh, I love advertisements. Alright, so this one's called Concept Toe 3. Woo! Oh, whatever. This video is already going down south, anyways. Time to rise and shine. Uh-huh. 
Good children are up bright and early. <laughs> I sure hope so. Uh, good children play pretend. Yup. What is that? The hell? Oh. Good children do not play with their food until it's all gone. Whoa. Good children make friends. Alright. I have friends. Whoa. Okay, um. Hello? Yo, man, what's up? It's been like forever. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, you thought you were dead or something. Like, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes. Best friends. Yeah. It's a really, really good dialogue. Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here and you can talk to me, man. Okay. <laughs> like I said, it's none of my beeswax and you don't have to say none. Do you need something? Face call. Please. <laughs> Video call? It's like almost 1am where I am, man. Black time zones, remember? Please. No. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently and was... Why? Yeah, okay, yes. Talk. Face. You know, seriously, I can't. Really, sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please, let me friend. Seriously, are you alright, Dom? Please, 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 please. I think he wants the video call, bro. It's crazy. Bro. Well, okay, okay, okay. Please, please, please. Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please, just be as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Yes. My mom's a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Help, please. No, oh, though, I swear I saw the heck and prank. Bro, I hated those. They were never fun. What is this about, bro? Like, I went into this blind. I have, I like, I don't know what this is about. But, um... Is... So is, like, the 1240... Is that guy, Dominic, um... Is he the guy from earlier? Like, the dude with the white face or some? Probably. Well, what am I doing? They were never fun. Whoa. Is that a glaggle? Let's see this video call. Whoa. That's me for real. None of it makes any sense. Everything inside was gone. What the hell is that? Is that a heart? I just wanna be part of the okay, so this one's called the boiled one phenomenon. Like the most popular one, I think. Anyways, um All following media has been curated with permission from personnel at Ephrata two twenty eight. Great care has been taken into the to keep the identities of persons involved anonymous as they requested. Warning. Oh, here you guys go. This video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognitohazardous conditions, including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. Please refer to the following procedures in order to guarantee your safest po possible ex viewing experience. Let's go, guys. <laughs> anyway, come on. I read it. There we go. Make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, and standard. I don't have a Bible. And I don't have earplugs. But I think I have paper and I have a pencil. Okay, let me get them. Alright. 
I got them. Let's do this. Okay. Probably shouldn't have paused on these. <laughs> Alright. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am moving, breathing human being on a planet Earth. Alright, let me write this. After these words are written, recite Psalms uh, 9110 aloud. If memories are an imaginary of something unholy persists in your mind, pray. That's all you can do. I don't have a Bible, so. Woo! I guess I'm dead. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered amnestics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. All right. You look so funny. Stand next to the tree with the flower. All right. Many appear to leave a normal life afterwards. The boiled one phenomenon. More like the oiled one. August 13, 2003, Tree of Haven. Heaven. In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary-based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals, and it was pri pri primarily directed towards children. Alright. I, I wouldn't have grown up with this, though, so that's fun. And the star, of the, sh the star of the show, a narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. Alright, you go, dude. I'd love to learn how to protect myself. Oh, crap. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off air due to the whole... No! Poor dude. Honestly, R.I.P. Then something odd happened. On August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series would get a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments of the episode. All right. New footage taken from episodes 3, 6, 8, 10, and 13 of the program. Courtesy of the Ephrata branch. All rights reserved. Good morning, Bushwhackers. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Poison oak. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common as I'm not in Pennsylvania. And here on... Oh crap. We aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer. Alright. No matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going. What do you mean gigantic? It's a weird looking Up tree. In deep North American woodland, poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Mm. Also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that. In China and Taiwan. One of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s and took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. During one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red, melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply disconcerting voice. Let's see this. <sighs> Uh, the face and his prophecies will hereby refer to as Fen228. I'll just call him 28. I don't care. As Fe as 28 spoke, clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would occasionally be overlaid on the screen, obscuring 28's face. Um, 
the most remembered fan 28 uh speaking english multiple non-english speaking viewers remember understanding every word that was spoken wow pe he's turning people to bilingual that's cool uh, the following clip is a restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch in blue light glasses and assert your earplugs. I don't have earplugs and I don't have blue light glasses, so I'm gonna die tonight. Woo! Alright, let's see this. Oh, facts. Speak your truth, brother. Speak your truth. Oh, how? Um, I don't like that. Um, I love your haircut. Oh, I don't like that. Um, oh, hi. You kind of remind me of my uncle Lester. Um. Yup. This broadcast will uh, blah blah blah. You could just read it yourself. What am I doing? Anyways, that was eerie. I didn't like that. Um, broadcast was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area, and upon viewing, left many severely distraught. I could tell why. Honestly. Uh. <laughs> What is that image, dude? Um, aside from the discomfort and paranoia 28's television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. I wonder what they were. Anxiety. Paranoia. Huh? Um... Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of 28's face out of their minds. Some continued to hear his voice days after viewing. That's what we call Riz, honestly. If you could stay in her mind, it's Riz. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Um, other another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. I will cry if that happens to me tonight. <laughs> I will burst down into tears. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that will never be fully understood. I'm going to cry. I'm going to burst down into tears right now, dude. August 14, 2003. The Great North uh, East Blackout, 2003. Um, after the anonymous... Oh, God damn it. Yup. Uh-huh. Um, after the anonymous frequency was detected by television station troubleshooters. The NERC was ordered by Ephrata branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anonymy and public knowledge of broadcast, uh, 813. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I love the drawings. They look silly and funny. No, oh, there's a sad face. The out outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well. Jesus. Creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout 2003. Almost 50 million people were without power. Some not getting it back until days later. Jesus. During the confusion caused by the outage, all traces of broadcast 813 were collected by the Ephrata branch and seemingly wiped from existence. That's good. That red guy ain't coming anymore. Including news articles in the works from morning after the broadcast, internet posts, recordings, and more. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto sagging power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Cleveland. <laughs> um, but the damage had been done. Oh no.
Aftermath. Twelve days after broadcast, 813 was blocked from the air. A historically massive influx of whatever the hell that is occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. Is this just all reading? I kind of expected a little bit more than reading, but you know, whatever. Can't judge. Uh, whatever that is, is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experience, uh, I don't even want to try to pronounce that, disconnection, leaving them to, ha to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary. Oh my god, I cannot read. Muscles in the body, except for vertical eye movements and blinking. So, like, basically sleep paralysis. I love that drawing. Um, this anom uh, oh my, this anomalous break outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the U.S. Department of Health. It was put under governmental investigation immediately. <laughs> One thing in common with all of these cases is that the patients have been at home watching TV the night the broadcast was aired. That's not. I think. I think the fellas in their brains, bro. Um, though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. That's a lot of people. I don't even think I know 60 people. Um, uh, many of these interviews held um, availing results that often led more questions and many others held results that require archival or termination Christ however fairly late to the investigation the Efrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving um one job security whatever an elderly victim of the anomalous uh, that outbreak. <coughs> um, some old dude. That's not good. Job um, Zamperini specifically requested his ally. Al Job Zamperini specifically requested that his alias be used in future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Um, Zamperini was a war vet and fluent in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation. That's cool. So this guy was like around. That's cool. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. It's probably the red guy. What was his name? Like, Fen83 or something. This led to them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. Um, okay. The following photo depicts Fen2028 um, standing next to the small playhouse in Samparini's backyard. Let's see this image. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still anomalous in nature. For most comfortable viewing, it will wear blue light glasses for a few from distance three feet or more. I'm not doing that. Let's see this photo. Hell no! Brother! He looks like a tree! Are you kidding me? No, I would cry if I saw that in real life. No, oh my, that is fucking, that is horrific. That is scary. Zamberini claims something horrible and unholy was uh, with him and would hurt him, possibly others, if he described it and what it was telling him. The upside down cross is not a good look, buddy. <sighs> The following is a recovered, previously archived recording in which Officer T. Gomez of the Efrata branch interviews Job Zamperini. Hello, Mr. I'm Whoa. Gomez. Hope you're doing well. 
What is this? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions I'm loving that lamp. Give it to God and go to sleep. No. Why is there a wall socket all the way up there? Ask. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? <laughs> there was a face. Hmm. When did you begin seeing this face? Jesus. Interesting. After I saw it on TV and never left me. So bro's traumatized. Jesus. Having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Dude, stop yapping. No, it's in the window. What do you mean it's in the window? It's just a white void in the window. Can you please describe this face to me? Stop yapping. Horribly burnt, not of Lord Christ. Jesus. No wonder they call him the boiled one. Have you been having any Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I hear screaming of many voices. Are these screams constant? And I oh. Thank you. you I guess I don't get to read it. What the Hey, is that fella? What are you doing here? What a coinkadink. Guess he has a thing for old men. Wonderful day, the miracle birth of fetal fanfare. I love trumpets. No, 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 thank you. I'm covering my screen with my hand. No, get away from me. What is that? I do not want to see your boiled OSI. Please. <laughs> what the hell? I don't want to listen to the trumpets playing their happy sounds. What is that? No, no, stop. <laughs> oh, together? What? what the <laughs> Imagine, like, the fidget spinners on that thing. Whoa. Um, okay, okay, um, I don't know what that is. So that video was something, um, so that's all we're gonna watch today, because this video is probably gonna be like 30 minutes by the time I'm done editing. Um, if you like this video, don't subscribe, because I'm probably never gonna make anything like this again. Unless I get, like, the random midnight motivation like I am right now. Um. At least give me a like, you know? That would be nice. Anyways, those were scary as hell. Have a good night, or day, wherever the hell you are. And peace out. You are the rock and roll princess of glitter. You are the miraculous mermaid of glam. You are the song that the ocean sings. You are the beautiful music of the sea.